dreams of bone fog. Because my cell phone is just jacked up. Your cell phone's jacked up? Yeah. Like, I don't think my cell phone is going to survive the trip. Why is that? Because. It's right there. It's not. Stop it! It's a creator appreciation sale. Send over by stars or virtual gifts. Oh, it's all gone now. Okay. Oh, I have no idea. Yep. I don't understand the whole stars thing anyway. I think it's just a way of Norvice, uh, not Norvice, but Facebook making money. We have 10 people on, I couldn't tell you who. Hey everyone, um, boys, just gonna give it a second for a few more people to come on in, but here's the fly, mop tail feather game changer, about roughly five inches long, five and a half inches long. Yeah. I need your phone. You have got to change the screensaver. You don't like it? Nope, you need to put up. I'd rather you have all... Up my fish again? Or was it your fish? Not what's his name? It's Jesus. Oh, Kelly, yeah. Yes. <laughs> hey, Mr. Landry. Yeah, Kelly Gal Jesus picture was the best screensaver. The, the best was when your brother left your cell phone at the grocery store and you <laughs> had to go to the grocery store and explain what your phone looked like and then she asked the lady what the knew. screensaver was. Yeah, and the lady knew what I was so talking she about. She wanted to know, wanted you to say it. <laughs> All right. All right, go. 20 people. Norvice, I gotta get on here. Brandon was going to demonstrate how to load your bobbin with the drill tonight, but... I wasn't paying attention to the spool of thread. <laughs> she just, just did it did all. did the whole thing. All right, well, got 20 people. It's only 7.04. Talk, say something, ask people what they've been doing. What? I see everybody what they've been up to. Not a good uh, talker. <laughs> oh my god, you could talk to a wall. What are you talking about? <laughs> what do you mean I could talk to a wall? <laughs> see, look, we're dropping people now because I'm not tying a fly. Okay, fine, then tie your fly. I don't care, whatever. Hey, Mr. Jordan, how you oh. been? Oh, hi, Jake. Glad to see you were able to make it down to Costa Rica this year made it and made it out on his first trip and back already tying tonight and not on father's day well colin <laughs> we're giving this a shot to see how saturdays go the last time Braden did a saturday he had some pretty good numbers and we've had some low numbers lately but i'm comparing them to last summer which is when everybody was seriously on lockdown then so, I don't think it's the night. I just think not everybody is yeah. stuck at home anymore. So, um, the deal is with the mop tail feather game changer. You got the mop on the tail. And the mop adds just a little more extra weight. And it really gets the, the tail of the fly kicking a tad bit harder, in my opinion. And it looks really good in the water. That's one reason why I really like it, and it's been super durable. I've been using this fly for snakeheads and bowfin, largemouth bass. I know guys who have used it for smallmouth. It's just a killer pattern. Any variation of the feather game changer is a really killer pattern. Oh, speaking of Jake, look. That's a really good picture. Of course, Jake's only available dates this year open and we're when we're on our trip. Really? Yep. Um, Josh Scott wants to know what you've been fishing for. What have you been fishing for? Because what are you getting ready for? I've been fishing in like this two week. weeks. Oh, one week. You're so full of it. Been. He was <laughs> fishing steadily for... Um, for, for snakehead article. and bowfin yep. because he's got to finish his blog post for TFO about snakeheads for next week. Yep. So that should be coming out Actually, sometime soon. This week is when it's due, mister. I thought you said it was next Friday. This? It is, yeah. Today's Saturday. Next Friday. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, Feather Game Changer. 
um, the body of the fly or your main material really is just a uh, it's hen saddle so pluck off two short small feathers to begin with because you want to build your taper from the tail end up and like this just like you're tying in one for a wet fly come in trim that get your little triangle right there that just gives you a easy tying point all right do you cut the 90 degree tag off the tail shank section when you finish the fly or does it affect the action um with the tail shank um i haven't I haven't cut them at all yet after finishing up a fly i really don't think it bothers it too much um but the mop tail i mean you can if you don't do like a something to cover it up like this hen saddle you can definitely see it but i don't think it really affects the action too much if if any but i'll show you like once i'm done with this you won't be able to see that little 90 degree tag in Someone says you're saving up all your fly fishing for Australia. <laughs> when are you going to do a game changer nymph? LOL. You only do yeah. those only do those during uh March Madness, right? Oh yeah. That's right. Um I can do one at some point. I wouldn't be opposed to it. I haven't tied one in a while, so be nice. Should probably should have probably been tying them for the trip. All right, so we'll finish off at the head or the eye of the tail shank right there. Break your thread off just to start the night. Really? Already? Oh, yeah. We're starting it off good. <laughs> I was using 200 in your GSP earlier. Kind of got used to that. So I might be pulling a little bit too hard. Alright. So someone's gonna jack up that's not Nano soap. Yeah, it's not. Um solar res bone dry. Just a quick EV resin. All over the thread wraps right there. Well, did anybody go fishing today? Yeah, did anybody go fishing? Because I did not. You did not. You've been packing. I could have went fishing. Could have. Grant crushed the snake heads the other day. Alright, so this is a 10 millimeter Flyman Game Changer shank. Pop that out of the vise. I'm using the Norvice shank jaws tonight. Just makes the time with the small shanks and small points where you can grip onto the shanks a whole lot easier and less frustrating. Jack Scott says he's been too busy with puppies to go fishing. <laughs> James says he's about two in an hour. Nice. But um like like I said earlier, beans were covering over that ninety degree little arm there. You can't really see anything. And uh if you're tying one with like a, instead of the mop tail or like a, uh, like that kind of paddle tail. I mean, that's just hen settle 360 degrees around a tail shank and you can't see it at all. But if you wanted to cut it, could. I just haven't yet. So, talking like a robot. How did I miss the, uh, Big Rock Blue Marlin Fishing Tournament down in Moorhead this weekend. Oh, you didn't know that? Andy was down there fishing. No, I missed it. Yeah, Andy was down there. So the guy won, had a 656 and a half pound for Blue Marlin. Nice. Mm -hmm. Totally missed that one. Alright, so just getting the thread base over that 10 millimeter shank, closing up the gap on it for, for the. The word is for. I know. F I know. I, I cut myself. R. 
for the first uh, first two shanks, it'll be this little mop tail will start getting in your way. That won't be an issue here before too long. So this is chocolate filler flash from Hairline. I want to say this is what color is this? It's just a yellow one. Wow. Well, sometimes they got other colors, other like other names. It's like minnow gray and stuff like that. If you're not specific, then they won't be able to find it. <laughs> All right, so I catch trout with Haggis fly in Bonnie, Scotland. Hmm. I don't know. Why Never heard of that. I don't know my fly, so I'm lost. You and me both. You tie amazing game changers, says Randy. Thank you. So, recently, instead of just wrapping it first and then trimming it, this is what I've been doing. I'm going to shift you down just a little bit. This has just been making it a little bit easier with the filler flash. But just going to come in here and... I just don't want to put you on Facebook Live now because... It looks so neat in front of you, but it's like a hot mess. Of <laughs> Nobody sees the background. But me. So... Give me one second. Just going to throw in an overhand knot. Or I mean half hitch. And then pull off this around the shank there just trying to be careful as careful as i can without tying over or wrapping over i should say the other feather flash i see it close enough so you lock that kind of move as much of this material out of the way as you can I know I'm going to tie over just a little bit of it, just to kind of get it out of the way. Patrick Robinson says, what's up, Brayden? Hey, Mr. Robinson. How you been? I bet he's been fishing. Oh, I know he's been fishing. You're not going up to Alaska this year, are you? I saw Josh was already there for the summer, he said. Yeah. Uh, North Fork Flies on Instagram says, yo. Hey, man. Well, I don't know how long I'll be able to do this. You can do it for a minute and then tell them to come over to Facebook. <laughs> you want to see the front version of this fly, Braden is tying live on Facebook on the Norvice page. But I'm just trying to get uh, all these long ones out of the way. They can see the back version and the front if there's open in the back. <laughs> Alright, I could sit here and trim that for hours. So, back to the hen saddle. Just gonna grab a slightly um, wider feather. I'm gonna start with two and then I'm gonna go up to three and then four. And probably once I get up to the to the eye of the hook, I'll end up getting up to five. Joe Bragg, y'all are going to have to stop in the shop at Natives and catch a can of Garth. Where'd it go? Hope all is well, my friend. That'd be awesome. Are we going to West Virginia? Yes, we are, child. You might want to learn the, like, oh, I, all the states I, you're going I, through. I don't know. I'm just, Joe, I'm just on the trip. We... I'll have to see, but probably can work that on the way back home. So Patrick says he hasn't been out fishing much. Too much work getting my son married last weekend. Oh, gracious. <laughs> Not heading to Alaska this year, unfortunately. Heading to Wyoming in a week, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Remember that. Well, we miss you. Elevated mop fly. Why don't you tell people what you're trying? So, this is a uh, mop tail feather oh. game changer. 
Someone must have told Tim because Tim just got on and said, did you break your thread? <laughs> you know it. Every live. That's how you got to christen the live video. Unless, okay, unless you're anybody else. I can't sit here and hold this anymore, but go over to Facebook, go on the Norvice page, and you can finish watching this live video. Say goodbye to Instagram. See y'all. Thanks for watching. All right, so like you saw there, I mean, you're just same thing like the filler flash as you're palmering it, wrapping it up the shank of, I almost said shank of the hook, um, up the shank. Just want to try to not trap any of those fibers or as little as possible. Starting off with the small feathers, just because you have to work, work on your taper. Small feathers can be a little more difficult than the larger feathers, but it gets easier and easier as you go. And since it's the same step over and over and over again, pretty much, um, you just get into a, a rhythm with doing it. You just gotta remember to keep using um, larger and more webby hen saddles. So. Throw on some more solar rose bone dry. Cure the rip. All right. I'm gonna clip on another 10 millimeter Flyman Game Changer Shank. Um, this one in particular has a tail shank, two 10 millimeters, a uh, number four Arex curved salt hook, and then it's got two 15 millimeter shanks in between your rear hook and the front hook. The front hook is a two watt blue water from Arex. Those hooks have been perfect for the snakeheads. Super, super strong, stout, and you don't have to worry about them at all. So, get our thread base going. Like I said, this is going to kind of get in your way for the first few shanks, but it's not going to be that big of a deal once we get to the hook. Alright, so, same thing as last time. Take our filler flash, snip off that little end there. This might be the quickest game changer I've ever done on a live. Well, I'm not complaining. I only have five million things I need to be doing. Yep, me too. I gotta pack all the freaking fish and stuff. It says, thanks, you're on America's Favorite Flies. Oh, cool. So, just like last time, take the filler flash, and just kind of pull it out. Make sure you don't have any fibers that are will clump back. Want to deal with all the long ones that you can, but not that you can't trim them up once you uh, tie it in or start wrapping it. Where y'all going fishing? Oh Lord, Joe, where are we not going fishing? <laughs> Tim says he's trying to enjoy my vacation, and I start getting messages. He's breaking thread again. <laughs> Who texted you that? I'm sure his son, because he if was not, on. Not Tyler. Got Patrick, maybe Keith if he's watching. Tell me now, every live, we're, we're breaking some thread. <laughs> we'll see, Joe. We're going to be fishing in Breckenridge. Oh, we're going to be fishing... Probably somewhere where uh, we're hiking. I'm sure he will fish in Utah. And then we're going to do some fishing up in Twin Falls, Idaho. We're going to be doing a lot of fishing in Bend, Oregon. And then we're going to do some fishing, I believe, on the Snake River. And on our way to 
Yellowstone once we started our way back home. So we'll do Yellow Snake River and then we're going to meet up with Austin Andrews and do some fishing around where he lives and in um, Yellowstone. Oh yeah. Very And Will Miller trip. says we will be taking a video every day of the trip. Documenting the trip. Oh, he said that? Oh yes. I bet we'll be able to win an award with that. You will see with this group. The slow just us uh, slowly falling apart. <laughs> what what are you trying to say? Oh, Your family's you, you, crazy? You know what I mean. Your mother losing her mind? At one point. A you, little bit at a time, you, state by state. You'll see Grenade just disappear from one of the videos one time. Be on the on his way home. Do you know that he tried to get his doctor to write him a note saying he couldn't go hiking? Are you serious? And the doctor <laughs> said, the doctor said, well, who do you need a note for? He goes, my daughter, the cruise director. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I'm just coming in here, trimming up all the super long filler flash. Honestly, it's, it's nice to have a little bit, um going through the feathers but I don't like too much because it kind of overpowers the feathers and ends up getting a little too flashy sometimes unless that's what you want but this is gonna just gonna be a simple yellow and white feather game changer it looks like a piece of candy corn it does I think the colors are just messed up the wrong order. Nah. This could have been your Halloween play. It could have been. And actually, I think Halloween is on the Sunday, I believe, this year. Yep, you're backwards. It's white, orange, yellow. I'm going to do a little bit of orange up by the head for, for like a throat, so it could work out. Maybe. All right, so one, two, three hen tails. Like you can see there, I'm just stripping all the excess fluffy um, ends of the feather just because that ends up getting in the way and it's just something extra that we don't need. I leave a little bit of it on there just because it kind of fills the fly up. First of all, someone is watching from Brazil. I will not even attempt that. That looks like a freaking awesome name, but I'm not going to attempt it. What do you mean? You think you might get it wrong? Oh, I know I will. And Tim says, be nice to the sheriff. Don't be hating just because he and I whooped your ass on the steel hit trip. Oh, okay. Well, made up in my mind. That I wasn't. was in November. Yeah. We've been on a second steelhead trip since then. Yeah. You know where I... And a bike trip since then, too, though. Mm -hmm. Where I whooped your butt, Tim. <laughs> you caught how many? I caught one. Enough. One big one. <laughs> and lost one really big one. <laughs> you always lose a really big one. Everybody always does. Mm-hmm. I got Steven and Dad for proof. Uh, yeah. I already heard your dad got all kind of excited. Oh, yeah. Alright, so. Oh, Lordy. Just wrapping. Oh, crap. Now you're unwrapping. Yep. What did you do wrong? Sell it so people know. I let the feather go a little bit too loose so it unwrapped a tad bit you want to keep constant pressure on it you don't want any looseness in the wraps because could get a, a fish tooth up in there and it could pull the whole thing out gotta keep in mind it's just a little little stem 
those of you watching, we would really appreciate it if you would click the red heart button. We have to do everything we can to get around Facebook and their programming to get the video out to as many people as possible. Why are you giving me that look? Without making people angry. <laughs> no. Whatever. I shared it to a bunch of groups today. And there's already like people on there liking them, so. Oh, yeah. People are missing the sharing. I can tell you that. Here we go. It's coming out pretty clean so far. He says, Oh, was that the trip you did your best lumberjack imitation on my giant Cromer? C R O M E R? I don't know what you mean. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. If I was home. Tim. You don't need a 30 incher. You're fine. I just had to make sure Tyler got his first 30 incher in the net. Oh, the second steelhead trip? Because yeah. Tyler didn't catch Jack when you don't have fishing. Yeah. So I know you're not talking about that trip. Yeah, and Tim got one like, I don't know. About the size of like a like Tim's a like gonna, a hoagie. Tim's gonna come and beat you before you even get on the RV to go out. Mine to ate a fly the size of his fish. <laughs> But he's regretting sending you that package you sent you the other day. Love you, Tim. <laughs> he's on vacation and you're treating him like that. Jeez. I know he's laughing. I just noticed your little steel guy I got you on near is up there. Fishing, Catching the punk rocker? Fishing, the punch, fishing for the punch, punk rocker from... Uh... Pat. Mm. <laughs> he knocked my giant bright chromer steelhead with the net. Oh, that's right. I remember that. In my defense, I was a little sleepy. All you had to do was yell at him like he did Blake when the he and Blake were snake over his freaking net. I don't believe that's what you said. Yeah. So. I still have that video. We never posted the audio. <laughs> Poor Blake. Blake gets verbally assaulted when he's netting my fish. So did Granddaddy until he learned. <coughs> Granddaddy even says you you talk about people and their netting skills. Oh my. Where did my notebook go? Did you just break that again? No. Broke the thread off of my hand. Alright, so this is a number four Arex curved salt hook. Just like the Gamrus, just saltwater edition, I guess you could say. It's a little more, a little bit stronger, more stout of a hook. This is Senyo's, um, hitting that thread on the hook every time. <laughs> this is Senyo's intruder wire. I want to say this is the uh, larger size. Could be wrong. You? Just grabbed it off the desk. I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, this is the larger size. Alright. So, I kind of just do it loosely for a second, and then I pull it tighter to tighten up that loop to get it small as I can without without impeding any action in it. The heck is going on your cell phone? Something you touched wrong. it. <laughs> that may be due to a technical error that we're working to get fixed. Okay. Well, today is your friend anniversary with um, Brandon Bartlett. Oh, cool. All right. I need your fishing time again. Are you doing? Okay, hold up. I gotta get. Uh, let's see. I have 10 different rivers within 45 minutes where I live for steelhead. Wow. That's, oh, that's a lot of water to fish or opportunities to fish for. Wish we had that many rivers here with them. <laughs> James, reminds me, were you my winner at the time that they were up pike fishing? Were you the one who lives near Akron, Ohio? Andrew Spangler would like to know, are you doing a double hook game changer? Yes, I am. Yep, the rear hook's a uh, number four curved salt. The front hook's going to be a, uh, a two-watt Arix Blue Water. 
And if anybody wants the material list before this gets posted on, uh, as Tim says, the YouTube. The YouTube. It is um, on the event page. And actually, let's see, I might be able to go and find it and just go ahead and copy paste it in here now. Let's see if I'm not smooth. I'm not trying. All right, so we got the filler flash all the way up the shank. All the way up the shank. Block A to the 18th birthday today. We've had a very busy week around this house. Yeah, we like, haven't done anything but pack and clean the house. That is not even what I was talking about. We had a graduation party last Saturday. Your yeah. brother graduated from his HVAC program on Monday. Graduated from his high school on Thursday. We had a graduation party Thursday night. Moving out. Yesterday, he's not going anywhere. <laughs> Yesterday was your dad's birthday, today's your brother's birthday, tomorrow's father's day. And just make it on an RV on with everything that we actually need Wednesday. What oh, we're going to we're going to fit something. I guarantee it. I will bet my life on it. How much Bragg you says mop fly ch uh, game changers. Oh my gosh. I wonder how many purist heads are exploding. <laughs> oh, so many. It, it's the end of the world. It's a swim bait, it's a lure, it's, it is not a dry fly. <laughs> Gabriel says, good job. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, so Miss Mueller is supposed to give me a quick You like my, my screensaver? No, I don't actually. <laughs> Oh, I love Kiko Alexi and Tim and Dave. Mm-hmm. Actually, yesterday. Was that on Dirt Changer? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Ooh, okay. Let's see, do I have any? Uh... Oh, all right, so I'm going to use some larger hand saddle this time. Well, okay, you can't. Would you have any what? Because you can't just go, do I have any what? And no, go, it's nope. the same thing, Hensel. Just that I'm using a larger Hensel. Okay. You're confusing me. Not that anybody yeah, Grenade, we can take this one out west. Yep, I got a couple. The sheriff. A couple flies to take out west. Just a few. We don't have so much room. I'll fit in the just in case. Damn, look how pretty that is. Steven sent me a picture last night, like texted it to me. It was an awesome fish. Another brown. Mm -hmm. That probably looks familiar. Got a couple of them. What is your hook? Oh, crap, you know what? You have not been watching, have you? No, I wasn't paying attention. But I was, I went and found the list. Okay, now, but now oh. tell them you can tell them your hook. So the, the rear hook, this hook right here, this is an A Rex. Um, actually, let me get the package. Uh -huh. A Rex curved salt. Size four. You can't read it because it's backwards, but um, that's the A Rex curved salt. Um, size four. The front hook's going to be an A Rex blue water two watt. Could also use a uh, A Rex minnow two watt or your favorite streamer hook, like a B10S or anything like that. All right, so same thing like the last in saddles. Take my clump of three, line them up, cut off the tips of them. All right, now I'm gonna stroke back the fibers just to kind of 
get them splayed out, not all kind of clumped up. Just makes wrapping them easier. Then as I wrap, I'm stroking back the fibers, making sure I'm not trapping any. Once I get up to the shank, to the hook eye. I will tie them off. Three in front, three behind. Or three behind, three in front, I should say. Or what I like to do is just pull back the individual stems. And do like two wraps or reach of them. And then I snip them off like that. There you go. Just posted a link to the Caddis Fly Shop. Look at that hook. Caddis Fly Shop is also a Norvice dealer. A little whip finish off right there after snipping off the stems. Didn't break the shred right there. It's always nice. <laughs> Take some solar rose bone dry along the uh thread wraps right there and i just coat over top of all of them also could use the solar rose thin oh, often rush likes to post i didn't see him today when i was at green day oh no i mean last night when we had green day oh, there you go all right so now, I'm going to take a 15 millimeter game changer shank. Let me open it up a little bit. All right, so we got our tail shank, two, two 10 millimeter shanks, and then our uh, Arix Curve Saw number four. And like you can see right there, building our taper, just slowly ramping up in size. That's what makes the fly swan. Oh no, it's doing that glitch again. It says I'm joining like 18 times. Oh, well, I will get off. Yeah, you can bring your drink to you. <laughs> Don't lean over. So I get a little thread base going on right there, I'm trying to just cover up the shank, close up the eye and the little clip, snip off your thread, take some more yellow or whatever color you want to use, chocolate solar flash, going to snip the end right there we're kind of frayed up because that just undo itself it's like a little uh braided cord like a chenille but just unravels super easy all right so tie that in right there to the end of the shank forward bring my thread forward do a half hitch and then we will walk this filler flash up the uh, up the shank while we're stroking back the fibers with our fingers just to make sure nothing gets trapped. But just gonna do this about probably a shank eye or a shank eye and a half behind the shank just to give us enough room to tie in that feather or tie in the feathers to palm up the, the shank to finish it. Flying video game, how many videos have been? 
What time is it? It's 7.42. You got somewhere to go? No, just one. Making good time. Alright. Snip that off. Wrap over top of it a little bit if you want. Remember, this is going to be the bulk that props up your head saddle. So, when you trim it, you don't want to trim it too much. That's why I didn't trim it off the shank, or I mean off the uh, actual chenille before we wrapped. Because as we start using larger and larger feathers, I just want to make sure we're not making it too small and then mess up the taper of the fly. Because once you finish the fly, there's no going back unless it's on your front hook. Anybody comment to you? Oh, uh, well, I don't know. Anybody that is on the Insights page? Fantastic. <laughs> I've been a little busy. I'm trying to catch up on a little bit of work and catch up with the stuff. Going to it now. They're right there in front of you if anybody said anything in this trip. Nope, looks like the last thing posted was me. The hook. <laughs> Alright. Didn't miss a thing. So back to the hen saddle. Just going to get slightly larger feathers right now. Picking three of them up. Clean them up. Got one, two, three. Line them up like that. Not, not like that. Like this. All right. Grab them by the tips right here. Show back some of the fibers. It off right there, and then leaves you with a triangle with a really easy tie-in point. Stroke the fibers back so they're not all clumped up. Try not to let go of any of the feathers while you're wrapping them forward. I try to uh, pluck them out before I tie them off with this thing, just to make sure it came out good before I finish it, or finish this section. Alright, so then take that stem, tie it over, take this stem, tie it over, take this stem, tie it over, and then I'll snap them all off. Activated a pole. Pole? Yes. Or what? I don't know if anybody can see it or not, but I did. They'll probably be able to see it, but I probably won't be able to. I'm not sure. What's the pole on? <laughs> Snip off and thread there. Is that camera dirty? It looks a little. Or foggy. I'm not sure. You got guys to them, not me. Or look look on the uh not on my phone or something. If you could, please. Ooh, check out that face. That's cool. I'm going Maybe back. you can get one with a snake head. I'm going back, I'm going back. There you go. There you go. That's what it looks like. Uh, looks pretty good. Might just be from me looking at looking at it from this angle. Alright. Don't look at it. Oh, don't look at it. 
Yes, see? Oh, look at my pipe hole. Bam! Yeah, that's cool. Um, if you are able to see the poll question that I have put up on the live, do me a favor and choose which day you like or you think is best during the summer. We're just trying to figure some things out. Maybe we could do an RS live on the water. Just fishing. Yeah, I'll let you run that one by Tim. <laughs> Just want to go fishing. I know you do. Well, it's worth a little bit, can't you? This room is ready for Oh, it's been ready. Hold it was on. ready three Thank days you, ago. Alan. Where I will find the answer to this poll, I do not know, but. <laughs> Oh, it. I do not know either. Uh, Jock, if you are still on, I just saw your message. Thank you very much. I will check my email. Like I said, it's been a little busy. Coming through again. Very last shank. What? Is the tool you are coming? You are coming the hackle with. Combing the hackle with. My neck comb. <laughs> <laughs> you dummy! Not that one. No, this is it. I know, but that I know. This is your dick comb. I know. If for those wondering, yes, <laughs> Braden's using the loom comb. This I'll is the post, loom. I'll put a link on there this for it. The loom ergo. Um. I will, the comb? Yeah, this is the I'll comb. This is their. That is not. Oh. Man, this is a great life. This is the Loon uh, Ergo or Ergo hair comb. Two different ones. I use them both. You um, need to. People are probably wondering about you. Know, you need to. This is this. what I was talking about as uh, my neck comb. I said that one night on a live months ago, and Brayden was like. What's a Nick comb? He had no <laughs> idea. Okay, so it's not the Loon Outdoors Ergo comb. No, that's the bigger one. I'm not going to look down with you. It is the Loon Outdoors Under Fur comb. Just so you know. Mm -hmm. I think they changed the color of them now. It's yellow on this page. Well, like, well, just took myself. That's cool. And not the first time. Eric's hooks are sharp. <laughs> um, I think they changed the color on their website, like, for everywhere now. Like, that's the old old one. I um, will put a little room for you and let you know, Cal. Yeah, see? The black one. Well, that's not the loon page, so you just hold your horses. <laughs> Still yellow on loon, so. What? I could have sworn they made them black. I don't know. Can't help it. I don't know why they made it black. It might have been black before. No. It's, it's new. Okay. Here. I like the yellow because I'm able to see it. Find it. <laughs> Brayden tends to lose a lot of things. <laughs> oh, well. The loom. Outdoors. Under fur. I wonder if that would work on Charlie's under fur. Mm, maybe. All right, here comes the link for the Loon Outdoors Under Fur Comb from Ed's Fly Shop. Me and Ed are BFF. We have talked for several times with this order. <laughs> there we go. Come through once again. Kind of trimming up the super long ones, just trying to leave the long ones. Almost done, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, please. Anybody watching you tie a game changer, they're probably expecting to be here until 10 o'clock. Unless they're new. <laughs> <laughs> I decided, Try to make it all perfect. 
I haven't started yawning too much yet, so it's still okay. I'm surprised I haven't after being. What? After swimming. <laughs> <laughs> Took a lot out of you to do swimming. Oh, yeah. You know, it's a very tiring activity. Yeah, I was trying to drown your younger brother, so it's a tiring oh, activity. He was trying to drown me as I was stuck in the. Stuck at the uh, <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> that was funny. Can't say I've ever had that happen. <laughs> Tuck back in the hole. <laughs> uh, um, so there's that one. Get our fourth here. Alright, so we're going to be using four hen saddle feathers on this one right here. To... What the heck? What's up? Why are there feathers out in the hallway? I do not know. Did Rusty get up here? I don't believe this was a Rusty. Pretty sure this was just a Raven. Look. I'm gonna listen to my thoughts. I could use that on this one. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I'm just, I, Mom. Poor Ben. Mom. I'm sure he was doing what? absolutely nothing. Watch the live. You'll see me flinch when you bring your hand up. <laughs> see? Jeez. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with y'all. You're like, like I beat you. Obviously, my body thought I was about to hit, get hit. <laughs> Although, I did beat Ben today in the pool. <laughs> well, <laughs> he he would, deserved it. He would not get out of the pool. Hey, David. How are you? David Radcliffe's watching. Hey, Mr. Radcliffe. How are you? Tim, that little punk would not get out of the pool. I, we were, our friend had to go to dinner. And we had to go pick up our pizza and get home to get ready for this. And he sat there right at the bottom of the steps and I'd already dried off. Finally, I had his towel in my hand and all. And I got that, went down those steps after him and yanked him right out of the pool. I swear he's the freaking biggest punk. And then he's like, why'd you do my flip flops? Wouldn't walk on the mulch. <laughs> Come here. Did he jump on Brantley? What did he do? He did something to Brantley. Oh, remember Brantley, his drama queen self. Oh, yeah, drowning. drowning. <laughs> well, I think he actually was drowning. Cause... He wasn't drowning. You need to be spit uh, you need to... He was spitting off water. He was stuck underwater. They were tr All three of them were trying to get... Bennett is eight. He was getting on Brantley's shoulder to his ten, and then Brantley was supposed to get on Brayden's shoulders. Well, Brantley well, couldn't get his feeding. Well, Brantley, was, Brantley was on my shoulders. Oh, hey, Grandma. Grandma knew what I was on. Hey, Grandma. Won't be long. We'll yeah. be out there. What? Thursday. You're not ready. It's been in my anniversary in Falls City, Nebraska, Grandma. I told Will I want to go to the casino, and he told me I was not allowed. I don't know why. Do not have a gambling problem. I just like a little scratcher, that's all. Oh, I've seen you online. Excuse me. Don't act like I gamble online. I went on the Virginia... I've hit $100. <laughs> the few times I went on with your dad and your granddaddy to play the big time lottery, we found that. I won $175. I still have my original $100 still sitting in that account. Thank you very much. <laughs> Y'all see what I think. I have a gambling problem. Beat my children <laughs> and a gambling problem. Thanks, Brandon. How else do I pay for all these flight by materials? Come on now. Renee says, I'm going to go, all right, Dad, you and I will stay on my, my anniversary together. We can oh, leave Lord. Willis behind. There we go. All right. The last time I went to the casino up there, what, we went and had lunch? Mm-hmm. That was all I got to do. <laughs> Just had to walk <laughs> by the machine. James Best slept. <laughs> Spot when your shirt was bugging you, you could see it in the thing. Oh, who knows? 
Alright. Final shank. Finished. Oh, don't move. Shut up. Ooh. Gonna blind you. Learned my lesson. Trust me. <laughs> Which one of these is brighter? I have no freaking idea. Well, I, I was thinking you were gonna like shine it on the floor. <laughs> I didn't know, okay? Well, Don't mess with stuff like that. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Alright. You have a chicken flying around now. Well, if y'all have ever used like pin saddle, <laughs> then you know like the under, like the fluffy stuff. If you like blow it with your nose or something too much, then uh. <laughs> I need some jerk changer in my life. <laughs> oh my god. Fred, I just showed him your, your snake head and he asked me if you caught it on a jerk changer. <laughs> oh my gosh. I got a good picture of a snake head with jerk changer in its mouth. I, I gotta send you. Where's that? Uh, okay, could you open that one up, please? That box. Oh, if I open one. I Is got, this the one that Blake took with the camera, the good camera, but it's in the water? No, that's the bigger one. I couldn't believe they freaking walked around with the big one. I wouldn't walk around with that thing. No, I'm talking about the snakehead. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Was that the fly? Yeah. <laughs> Let me uh, brush it out. Yeah, there you go. Here's the. Hey, Graham. Oh, hey, Joma. Joma Starry's on. Oh, hey, Mr. Mastari. And Graham. Hi, Graham. How are you? You're lucky she's in Oregon. She'd beat you. She better go beat somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's why. Uh, oh, got the camera that close. There's the jerk change of the snake of the thing T boned it perfectly. Still has the rattles, too. All right. Let's finish this fly. Kind of looks like Cousin It. What do you mean? Well, you know. You can't see his face, his hair just like straight down. <laughs> he said, oh, ah. <laughs> yeah. They're time consuming, but they're worth it. He will tie one. At one point. He was supposed to tie, his next live was supposed to be the day we get back. But Don Corey will be tying that day. Ask him to tie their chain. And then the next weekend to what, the 25th, I think? Braden ties again? I'm not even sure. Oh, yeah. I just tie when I'm told to tie. I go on a Monday. Oh, yeah, by the way, you're tying live this weekend. I need to fly. Yeah. I was like, ugh. Let's just go through the box. What have I? What changer have I not tied? Yeah. Starting to run out, aren't you? Nah, we could improvise. There's actually quite a few that I haven't tied. Helps when other people start coming up with other ones too. Like the leggy boy changer. Say what? I haven't heard of that one. It's a one by a guy. Did you just break his leg? No, I cut it. I didn't do it. The wire did. Uh, that's not how that works. Kinda. It was in my way. I thought you were gonna do the cicada fly. I did not think I was going to do the cicada fly. I thought we talked about it. <laughs> yeah, I thought you were doing the cicada fly too. I thought that's why you and your brother went to go test flies. Well, we tested it. For several hours. It, it was good. Well, because we were going to test it. Blake's going to go to the movies. And then on, on the way to the movies, his girlfriend goes, yeah, the movie starts in 40 minutes. And we're like, we're 40 minutes away from the house. <laughs> so, uh, testing turned into fishing. Then we got there and the water was chocolate milk yeah watch your heavy breathing for your chicken flies all out of that basket again yeah okay here we go so i just connected that that is 30 pound wow i i realized we've been talking mostly not talking about the fly all right so this is 30 pound berkeley nylon coated stainless steel wire what now you want to be all serious. You're like the host one. It's time to get to rest. Wait. Okay. Here we go. So, again. Once again. Let's 
some yellow. Oh my gosh. Like yellow the, filler flash. Like you're about to die. Oh my gosh. Snip it off. I just need to get on my couch. You can. Once we finish. <laughs> once we, we. Once we what? Get a mouse this in is, your pocket? Because I a, am not doing it. This anything. is a team effort. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> I'll remember that when I'm up late packing, and I'm gonna say this is a team effort. <sighs> I'm not like you know what? I'm just gonna pack my stuff. Like tomorrow would be great. I still gotta pack fish and stuff, clothes, tying stuff. See how fish and stuff came before the clothes. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to see where the rods and reels are that you were getting together today, I because I don't see Jack. Well, I was getting everything together. Start and then stole that crack came in a box the other day from Scientific English. You didn't get any of that together. Mom. <laughs> Tim, I swear, you're getting ready to beat another child. Look, don't talk to me. Look at my bag. I got stuff in my bag. All right, so what I did there, uh, I doubled up the chenille or the chocolate filler flash right there, and then I uh. See? Made it into a loop. Lying to me, lying to them, can't even tell them what material you're using. Jeez, all right, all right. it's yours. <laughs> 63 pairs of underwear and one shirt, Tim said. <laughs> That's, remember the steelhead trip? That's exactly what happened. It wasn't a steelhead trip. It wasn't it when we went down to... Um... Oh, the freaking Harkers, yeah. No, it was when we went... Wasn't it when we did the demo, the first demo day? And, uh, <laughs> what's it called? <laughs> yeah, I <I've> been... <laughs> Tim looked in my bag. <laughs> He's like, what the heck? Right now, a new pair of underwear for every hour we were gone. Uh... <laughs> Gotta be prepared, Mom. Never know. Oh. What happens if someone steals them? Well, none of your brothers were going to get them because they were all with you. Then you got Atlantic Beach. Got no <laughs> shirts and all the other freaking clothes. Or actually, no. I did, oh, yeah, it was, it was just the shirts. I had everything else. Like that one sweatshirt. Do you have to be better at packing your stuff for you to be more prepared? Jeez. Yeah. I literally had it Anticipate in there before. Anticipate your dad hiding your clothes in another suitcase. I had everything in there before anybody else. First time ever. I was like, what do you mean? I know I did it. So, just to catch you up on that, do you need to say anything about your wrapping that? Uh, same thing as earlier, just making sure you're wrapping it back as we're uh palmer ford so we last fall when we went down to emerald isle on vacation the boys put their stuff in the truck when i say the boys i mean my older two blake and Braden. yeah i knew they did and it was dark well we get down there and we're unpacking and i'm like Braden. You don't have any very many shirts or anything like that. And he was like, Well, I packed everything in the car. So we went fishing the next day and we're still going. And Brain's like, I'm going to have to get some shirts. I don't have anything to wear. And his dad went off on him about being more prepared and getting his stuff together and stop worrying about so many this and that. Fishing and stuff. And fishing and stuff. I got all my fishing stuff, but no clothes. And Braden was very adamant that he had his shirts. I was betting my life on it. I put them in the truck. So I had to go through the ring camera. Hours of the ring camera. And finally I got to the point where by, there's Braden with his shirts on hangers and puts them in the, the truck. Not in a bag, but his shirts are all hanging up. Like clear as day, nothing in the truck, empty. I put my stuff in it. Now it's not empty. The only thing in it. The next morning my husband goes out to put the rest of the stuff in. And he takes everything Blake and Braden put in the truck out, took Braden's shirts that were on hangers, and put them in the bottom of my suitcase. It was a duffel bag suitcase with, with a bottom zipper section that had, guess, had nothing in it. And he did not remember until what? Until you show him the video. Like a day or whatever. And then I, as soon as I find it that, uh, in the ring, I'm sorry, he, and he still. He still wouldn't admit it, would he? Mm -mm. He knew he was wrong, and he just, oh. Just, I don't know, just be better about it next time. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh.
So who do you think is going to leave something, the most stuff behind while, for this trip? <laughs> Me. I don't have this one. I don't have this one. Oh, I'm not going to forget fishing stuff. If anything, it'll be the tying stuff. And I'll be mad because I'll be going across the country and I won't have the... Then I'll be mad because then in a supply shops, I'll have to be buying material <laughs> that I already own. So, doubling up the uh, filler flash like that just gives a little bit more bulk, a little bit more profile, and it'll fill out your fly better. Just a little trick I learned when I took the class of blame. Okay. There we go. I think it's just this color is not a good color with that light. It just looks like just dull, you know what I mean? Alright. Um Dang the camera's not gonna help. What are you looking for? Figuring out what I wanna do next. Take four more white hen saddles. Tell everybody you met you a new chicken man. No. Miss Travis' brother and sister. Oh yeah, yeah. I didn't think I had to tell her. Oh, that. hey Ed. Ed Hayes. He says very nice. Thank you. No, that's why it's coming. Let's see, all right, going to clean up these feathers. Oh, that was from a while ago. The, uh, remember the spawn fly shanks and everything else? The flies, fly down and stuff. Yeah, you don't remember, you don't remember projects? Project Hill Wars? I don't know. Do you know when you do different people or something? A lot. Especially about fly time and stuff? A whole lot. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so. Snip that off right there. Let's clean time point. Drop back. Yeah. Stroke all the fibers back and out of the way so they're not all clumped up. Makes it a little bit easier to wrap them. And then we will make touching wraps with each one. But, like I said earlier, just building our taper and the bulk of the fly. We started with two feathers on each one, grew up to three, and now we're wrapping up four at a time. And using larger and larger feathers each time, building bulk and taper. That's what makes this fly swim. Pulling back the stems one by one. Alright, so I'm gonna throw in some pectoral fins. Come out pretty good. Okay, pectoral fins. Which color matches this mop better? Not that one. Uh, that thing is like a chartreuse. It's, I know, right? And it says green on the package. So. Let's see. Go ahead and tell me. Oh, yeah, how do you finish, Magic? How dare you. Where do you find the chartreuse? I know I have them. Mm -hmm. I know you have them too. 
Where would they be? Really? Right. I Let me check over here real quick. Well, what the heck, dude? We got feathers everywhere. Yep. There they are. See? If you don't move anything, I know where it all is. I did not put any feathers on that shelf. No, I'm sorry. I knew they were there. But you didn't move them, so I knew they were there. Do you think you could tie a game changer Eastern Sea Garfish? I think y'all call them small needlefish. Um, I'm sure it could. It was a high pitched. Yeah. Well, like a, I'm not too sure. I'm well, sure I I've could. never seen anybody tie one, so. Well, you got 6,996 miles to give it a shot. Don't say that. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, that is definitely Chartreuse. <laughs> Alright, um... Where did the mop come from? The grocery store? Or, no. like, you ordered Green top. Green top. It says green on the package. Well, that's why. I mean, they left that as orange. That's like fluorescent orange. Oh, yeah. It's very, uh, very basic. <laughs> Alright, so pectoral fins. I'm just using more hen saddle. Luke says every time he catches yellow fin tuna, their bellies are full of them. Huh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm sure I could probably tie one up. Might take me a few tries to kind of get a halfway decent looking one with, like, Figuring out what materials I want to use, but I'm sure I can do it. <clears throat> well, you've got a lot of free time going up on your hands there, buddy. <sighs> yeah. I don't know. I might have to be tying salmon flies. Not like salmon flies, but like the bug. Big old stone flies for out west. Okay. I'm like... No, no <laughs> I could tell by your confused face. Alright, so just tying them in. Each one, 90 degrees. On the side. Like so. Very. This is going to be a very bold fly. With a chartreuse yellow, white, and then hot pink thread. Very natural. Well, why didn't you try the flies you had in the picture? Why? The pink one. Oh, what? That one? Yeah. I don't know. Okay. I just felt like tying a different color. <laughs> okay. We're almost there, guys. Don't worry. I'm in this with you. Welcome to the struggle bus. You live there. <laughs> I'm the driver. Mm. It's Not Keith. Keith is, Keith's driving the struggle bus <laughs> with the lives. <sighs> but all I can say is, I haven't bled out on live yet. <laughs> I can't forgive. Love you, Keith, if you're watching. I'm pretty sure he's not. He's camping, probably. Camping or sleeping? How about tying some pipe flies? I could do that. Talking about yours? Yeah. You've got plenty of time to tie those, too. I could tie them live while we're up there. You can do an Instagram live. You could. Or FaceTime live with Ed. <laughs> Just have Ed stare yeah, on the Ed, screen. When are you going to do a FaceTime live, Ed? I can. I'm waiting for that day. No, not. I said FaceTime, not Facebook. Oh, you just want to FaceTime Ed? Just you and Ed? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's all I hear on the other screen. Not Ed. Leave Ed alone. Uh. Smack him when you see him, Ed. Feel free. Don't worry, Ed, I will tie your flies. How are we gonna ship them while we're out there? 
You ever heard of UPS? What? FedEx? That's, you know, they do go from the West Coast I, to the East Coast and vice versa. I don't know. So Land, air, and sea. So <laughs> the Postal Service. Getting to Hong Kong. That's a big brain moment right there. Ed, the only reason they're not done is because we have a we have had a very hectic week. And on top of that, Brayden had to finish school. He, well, you're not even finished. Well, almost. Everybody else is out of school, but you. Because, I'm almost you know, done. Not everybody took off how many weeks to go fishing and everything else. Pluses of self-paced high school. Yes, I. Am. I forgot the words. That is the purpose of it. <laughs> Leave cousin Eddie alone. See, is it Cousin Eddie or Uncle Eddie? <laughs> cousin Eddie. Did he clean his room? <laughs> Ed wants to know. I mean, no. the desk area is clean. Or was. Now it's got flat tank stuff over it for, for the live. But you know what I mean. Uh, let's just say he still has not put his flies away like he the was flies, supposed to. Flies and away. I am flies. still waiting for him to figure out his plan for all of this fly line. I already got plenty. Box it up in the Your box plan it already is. It's nothing but wrap it around some daggone water bottles and then try <laughs> to figure it out by Dude, looking at the tiny I know writing. what they are because I've got them memorized. Trust me. I got yeah. I got a plan. Was it yesterday or two days ago I came up here about you with your closet? I think it was yesterday. <laughs> it was yesterday. <laughs> So we're getting ready to go to leave, right, Ed? So I came up here with some clothes, and I knew what his closet looked like. And I made him open his closet and take everything out of his closet. And there were clothes from when he came home from the pipe trip that I had already gotten out of there and laid out neatly. And all he had to do was hang them up. Pipe trip, Harker's trip. And they were still, they got put back in the closet, laid neatly. Ed. But they're all hung up now. See what I'm working with, Ed? Working nothing. See what I'm working with? <laughs> a damn jack in a box. I'm trying, Ed. <laughs> yes, we're brothers now. Look who's here. There we go. So, I've got five feathers in here now. Again, we're building bulk and taper. So, they're larger feathers. They're... You're not even in the camera. Oh. Nobody can even see what you're doing. Sorry about that, yes. <laughs> Welcome they to still the... can't see because now you're... I got it. Okay. It's all good. It's all good. Messed it up. Okay. Guys, y'all ready? This is the last one. This is a historical moment every time... Time of game changer. The last part. It's only 8.20. Whew. We're making good time. It's not 10 o'clock. Alright. Let's get these feathers out of the way. What was it you want me to see in this bag? The bag? I had stuff getting put the together. Bag of the I was getting ready to put bag? stuff in the bag. <laughs> See, I was making a game plan in my head as to what I wanted to pack in it. And, you know, I was thinking, since Granddaddy already said, you know, burning my head now, that there's not a lot of room on the on the RV. There's not. I know, I know. I got to condense it all, so I was making a game plan. <laughs> oh, it's, it's all in my head now. I got it. You need to lay everything out before you pack anything so you can see. Oh. There we go. That came out kind of nice. I had some lazy trout to eat. So rich. <laughs> I love the interaction between you two. <laughs> <laughs> I asked Mike Dutton, I said, you, you are, y'all are me a lot. What is, what do you recommend? What are the like my must haves? He goes, are for your family? First day? First aid kit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shoot. We need a doctor with us. Probably. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Oh, 
for a second there, that thing looks like a part of the... Mm, wow, there. just freaking stab myself right in the index finger. <laughs> Didn't go past the bark, though. That's twice, you know. Each hook, in there. each hook. You gotta do it on each hook, or else it won't catch a fish. Trust me. Okay, final part. I lied. This is optional, don't forget to say. Yes, this is optional. Could just put regular eyes on it. Or just waste your mom's money and put these on there. Mom, I use them once a month, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Is this your original set, or are these mm. the ones we got from uh, Don Corey? These are the original ones. Like from the fly show a couple years ago? Mm-hmm. See how many still on there? I don't use it a ton. Now I can see that salt line on your hat big time in this camera. Good. It's a sign of a good and well used hat. It's a sign of a hat that you haven't even owned a month. <laughs> One trip down to Harker's. That's all it took. One. That is a Yeti hat. Mm -hmm. And I love it. The entire hat is mesh, which is why he likes it. He's got a couple Sims ones coming Tuesday by 7 p.m. <laughs> Hopefully. That's if they make it. Anything sets them back. <laughs> it will not be on time. Someone will be shipping them to Nebraska. Somebody come. I do not know them. Sounds like, uh, dead. It's lonely, so... Probably not dead, then. Nope. Balake. Balake, the birthday boy. Your 18-year-old grown-up son who can legally leave your house. He can legally leave all he wants to. <laughs> he won't let you leave coming back here. Hey, good boy. When do I get your room? <laughs> oh, jeez. Good luck with that, because I couldn't even pay him to switch rooms with you. I know. No, leave me. Look like a freaking dorm room. <laughs> okay, wow. I think someone's college dorm room might be cleaner than this sometimes. Eyes are a little low set, but I don't want to change it because this fly will fish just fine. They're just for looks. They're not for the fish. Yep. That's okay. Most fish that are going to eat this are probably going to look at it from below anyway, so. And then turn so. around and destroy the, the jungle fly guy. Oh, yeah. They're going to shred it. Snakehead, tear it apart. Bowfin, rip it apart. Literally, I mean, your teeth are designed for it, so. You know what? I might even throw out a set of bluefish, just for fun. Just to block my name. Boom. Broke the thread on purpose that time, Mom. Cha-ching. <laughs> That's what I'm doing, <laughs> Hey, you can't say that on the live, Mom. Parts. Gonna hurt people's feelings. You're special. You're a special man. That's for sure. What are you putting on there now? This is solar res bone dry. UV resin. Oh, watch your eyes, Mom. Shut up, Brayden. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that fly glow. I see it. Man, I set the eye a little bit too low on this one. I, I think I have my vice angled. <laughs> In the computer. Okay, guys. Well, oh my gosh. Everything's falling. We're good. Comedy Central here, right? Yep. There it is. Mop tail for the Turn that bright light off. Which one? Your bright Norvice light. See? You know, it's, yeah, I guess it's okay. Hold on, I'll take and see it. There you go. Still can't see. It's just the colors. Yeah. Oh, colors against my shirt, too. <laughs> Ding dong. Way to go. 
think about that. Nobody even said anything because it's usually me saying something to Tim. Yeah. There you go. Looks a little better. Yeah. So mop tail. Yeah, it's the colors in my shirt. Mop tail feather game changer. Roughly five and a half, six inches long, maybe. But rear hook, front hook. Came out pretty good. Very nice. Great job. Yeah, get your other, your orange one in. Yep. There's the, uh, there's the other one. It, uh, orange tail, then it goes to white, then it bleeds to a cream sickle color, then it bleeds to orange, and then, uh, up to a yellow head. That one's pretty, I like the cream sickle one better. The cane Mm-hmm. <laughs> Figure a way to throw sucker spawn coming out the mouth. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I could try it. Egg sucking game changer. Mop tail feather game changer. Oh, for God's sake, we'd be here all night long. Nah, I still have to it. That's all good. Actually, I might try that for the next step of the trip. Oh. Oh my gosh. Good God. You yeah, have between now and November. Steven would dig it. <laughs> He seemed to like the, the the mega egg where it was like that big. <laughs> Tied it for sharks. Well, does anybody have any questions for Precious tonight? Yep, because uh, about to wrap it up. Clifford says, good stuff. Have a safe and fun trip. Thank you. Thank you. Let's just hope we all make it back. <laughs> no, all right. Uh, you would think I would know who's tying next week. If you give me two seconds, I'll be able to tell you that. Yep. Oh, it should be Tim tying next week because I Austin am. tied last week. And doesn't he always tie after you? No, he doesn't. Or before me? He usually ties before you. He doesn't like to go after you. He should be upset this time. <laughs> but we'll see. Let's Thank you, Mr. Landry. Thank you, Mr. Flank. Okay, Facebook. Schedule. Yep. It is Tim time next week. And then July 3rd, <laughs> we will have a group live time, Norvice led. James Bass said, uh, Tim time, more smallmouth flies, lol. <laughs> I think Tim should tie a game changer next week. I think Tim should. Come on, Tim. So we, so we have. He said, to... "I've no idea what you, what I'm doing." Well, I, I need to know. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Hurley. So we. Thanks, Greg. So, again, Tim's on the 27th. We're doing a group live tying on July 3rd, and then Tim ties again on the 11th. <laughs> Don Corey ties. July 18th, he's going to be tying a dragonfly slash damselfly and possibly the angel of death, <laughs> black foam gurgler. Uh, I just copied and pasted that, so. And then Braden's back on July 25th. I'm back. Might be tying the needlefish game changer. We'll see. I'm for crying out loud. Hey, I might. Or um, a sucker spawn sucking game changer or game changer whatever sucker spawn fly you might want to go back and write that down before you forget mm -hmm. thank you ed i will try to tie or actually i will tie your flies i did i said thank you to graham yes i did better all right well oh ed and says bite flies <laughs> Okay. I could tie your pike flies too after I uh or not after we get back from the trip. I'll tie I could tie one for uh for the live. What? Sit still. Everybody's fine. They're not gonna get Jeez Louise. Vertigo from me doing this. <laughs> well be keeping up with um my Facebook, Brain's Facebook. We will be updating yeah. people on our journey. If you see a report of a dead body <laughs> in any of the states it might be us. <laughs> If you hear about 
any, any craziness in any state between here and Oregon, <laughs> it could be my family. Yep. So, but we will be updating Facebook and keeping, as my, my husband plans on us doing a video journal of our trip, everyone, every night. So, Oof. it'll be interesting to see what everybody has to say. Everybody be gung-ho. And then on our truck back, they'll be like, I'm over this. Yeah, I don't want to ever talk to Brantley again. I don't want to ever talk to Ben again. <laughs> I'm beating up again. Every time I can just be silent. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Flank. Well, I'm sure we'll have a great time. All right. Well, uh, thank you all for watching. I had a great time. Time to set for y'all tonight. Um, you can find me on Instagram at MillerTimeFlies. Oh, MillerTimeFlies. My Facebook is Braden Miller. My website is MillerTimeFlies.com. Um, the material list is up here in the comments. It's also, st you still should be able to find it under the event section on the Norvice page. Mm -hmm. And since I have his for once, I will make sure it gets posted as well when they upload it to the Norvice YouTube channel. And remember, anybody that has any a blog post and pictures they want to send to be posted on the Norvice website or any instructional video that you do and you want to send to me for us to post that we could use on the Norvice YouTube channel. No, Tim said he was going to give something away. What did he get? Say a shirt and a hat? It's always, I don't know. Shirt and a hat, or it could be a neck gator. It could be. No, it was some. It was better. There was more than a neck gator. But Tim says he was going to give something away to anybody. So if you're interested, you can reach me through the Norvice direct message, or my email is Casey at C A S E Y at Nor Dash Vice dot com. So I welcome anyone to send a blog post or a yeah. instructional video. <laughs> I cannot think of saving life. Alright. Uh, Alright, well everybody have happy Father's Day tomorrow. Yep. And hopefully we will see you all again on the twenty fifth of July. <laughs> if I make it. If we make it. Mm -hmm. Um thanks y'all. Uh have a good night.